Steve, this program was in a situation last year at UConn to win a share of the Big East title. Didn't work out. Pittsburgh, we know what happened. Didn't work out Saturday. What have you learned from it to make this different? Well, uh, uh, we learned a lot, you know. We learned that we finish it. And with well, UConn, we, had, we were fighting for a share now that we have a share. So it's a little different circumstance now that uh, we have a chance to go to the BCS bid, uh, which was our ultimate goal. So, I mean, we learned a lot, you know. We learned a lot since then. And uh, we just had to finish, that's all. After the game on Saturday, when everybody was getting, you know, changed in the locker room, you were sitting there for a while in your uniform. So what kind of things go through your mind then that you can push forward toward? Uh, the things were going to my mind, uh, what can we do to get better? You know, what, 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 what is there missing? Uh, how come we can't finish in this time of the year? And I was just thinking about uh, all that. It wasn't frustration. It wasn't anger or nothing like that. I was just thinking, what, what can we do better? Because I know I know we play great defense. We, do, we play at least versus the run for the most part. You know, a couple runs spit out. But when you're playing a, a team like that, and uh, I mean, you got you got to carry the game. If if both teams, which is special teams, the offense is not doing uh, doing well, you have to carry the game. So I just learned that um, sometimes we got to be it. We got to be that it factor for the for the Rutgers. Have you talked to a lot of? teammates now about how to take that next step? Did you do yeah, that of course. Pressure? I've been preaching all week. I've been preaching all year. It's not going to change. We're going to do what we do. There's obviously that we have nine wins. And, um, I mean, we, we got to do keep doing what we're doing. I mean, there's a reason why we have nine wins, like I said. Steve, you're aware Teddy Bridgewater has some health issues, right? Fractured his left wrist, got the ankle. Is that something you'll watch to see if he gives away any tells, like if he can't break contain, if he's a little limited? Will you look for something early on? Um, well, we're going to stick to our game plan. We have a game plan. Um, the game plan is not going to change. I mean, he's an athlete. He, he's going to scramble no matter what. You know, I don't know, I don't know how bad it's hurting him. You're going to have to ask him on that one. But, I mean, our game plan is not going to change. Steve, do you feel that how close you guys are now that the season would be a disappointment if you don't finish it off? Um, I want to say disappointment because we've never had any share of the Big East title, and we have it. So it's not a disappointment at all. It wouldn't be a disappointment, but it'd be a disappointment that we have to share with somebody else because we came so far. This group of kids, especially this group of kids, been through so much. We've been through one of the hardest camps uh, ever here, and uh, the older guys will tell you that, and the guys that came back and watched will tell you that that we've been through the hardest time. So, I mean, that made us stronger as a team. So it'd be heartbreaking to, sh to actually share. It. Steve, have you thought about the significance of this game, just on a historical perspective from this school and also nationally? Yeah, I've thought about it a little bit. You know, I know that uh, us in Louisville always comes down to a big game uh, back in 06 and uh, so forth. But, I mean, it's just another game. Every year is a new year. So it's not like Rutgers magic is going to happen just because we won 06. doesn't mean we're going to win on Thursday. You know, we have to go out there and play our game. You were a sophomore in high school, the Louisville game in 2006. Did that have any impact on you as far as Rutgers? Well, I was there that game. You were? Yes, okay. I was. So what kind of impact did it have on you, raising, maybe raising the profile of Rutgers, making Rutgers? Well, it was my first college game. It had a lot of impact, and uh, plus I uh, only had one offer. So I was like, <laughs> it was like, it was definitely a magical moment, and I've never experienced anything like that. And to this day, it's one of the most exciting uh, days of my life, and I didn't even play. Did you so, run on the field? Oh, uh, yeah, I was on the field, me and my father. <laughs> <laughs> but you were there as a recruit. Visit. Yes, I was there as a recruiter. What, what was the whole atmosphere like just before kickoff and just going through the whole uh, no one sat down. I had to stand the whole game. Uh, even when they were down, uh, tw I think, 25-7 at the time, uh, nobody was sitting down. Uh, the towels were going in the air. I mean, the atmosphere was real loud. Uh, I mean, hopefully it's the same atmosphere like that Thursday because that that's what I was dreamed of. Did it make it any more fashionable, that win, for a Jersey kid to want to go to Rutgers, do you think? Excuse me? Would it make it a little more fashionable for a Jersey kid to want to go to Rutgers off that win? Um, yeah, I, th I, th I believe so. I think uh, the recruiting definitely went up after after that game. Uh, that's what really put Rutgers really on the map. And you know, everybody started raising eyebrows that Rutgers is the team. So, yeah. What's kind of the mindset of this team now, a couple of days away from the game? Uh, can't wish away time. You know, Coach Shannon always used to say that, can't wish away time. Everybody's real anxious to play. Everybody everybody wants to play right now, and that can't happen. So we have to keep preparing, preparing through the game, and uh, you know, just go out there and play a game.
Do you think you're gonna have to kind of tone the guys down a little bit, trying to keep them from getting hyped up? Too I mean, of course. You know, there's, there's everybody is anxious today. We were flying around practicing hard. Uh, coaches are telling us to relax, and we weren't even in pads today. So I mean, we just got we just got focus. We gotta be smart with each other because a lot of us are starting a lot of uh, even a, a lot of the twos that that's not playing. We're gonna need them, so they can't go as hard as as well too. So, but I like the practice the practice tempo that we have out there. I like the the phys the physicality that we're playing with, and hopefully that transforms over Thursday. Hopefully.